good afternoon students today we are learn about the topic nature of learning topic is nature of learning first of all what is mean by learning what is mean by learning learning is a psychological process that determines human behavior learning is a psychological process that determines human behavior learning is a process of accumulation of knowledge skill and attitudes learning is a process of accumulation of knowledge and skill and attitudes knowledge skill and attitudes learning can be done through various ways such as reading listening traveling experimenting etc learning is a continuous process learning is a continuous process it is an activity of someone who learns it is an activity of someone who learns human learning begins before birth and continues until death as a consequence of ongoing interactions between person and environment human learning begins before birth and continues until death as a consequence of ongoing interactions between person and environment it is an activity or process of gaining knowledge or skill by studying practicing or experiencing something then learning is universal then learning is universal each and every person in the world learns throughout their life each and every person in the world learns throughout their life learning process interact with the environment learning process interact with the environment hence an individual experience the world through learning the previous knowledge of a learner plays a major role in acquiring new knowledge the previous knowledge of a learner plays as a major role in acquiring new knowledge learning is a relativity permanent change in the modification of behavior that acquires as a result of practice and experience then definitions crow and crow learning is the acquisition of habits knowledge and attitudes it involves new ways of doing things and it operates in an individual attempt to overcome obstacles according to crow and crow says learning is the acquisition of habits knowledge and attitudes it involves new ways of doing things and in operates in, in an individual attempt to overcome obstacles then another other gates says learning is modification of behavior through experience and training another another other says gates learning is modification of behavior through experience and training henry smith says learning is acquisition of new behavior or strengthening or weakening the old behavior as a result of experience henry smith says learning is acquisition of new behavior or strengthening or weakening the old behavior as a result of experience then next topic characteristic of learning an individual starts learning as soon as he is born an individual start learning as soon as he is born he continue learning throughout his life then first one learning is growth learning is growth then learning is adjustment then learning is purposeful then learning is experience then learning is intelligent then learning is active then learning is both individual and social then learning is product of the environment then learning affect the conduct of the learner then next topic elements of learning then next topic elements of learning or types of learning the elements of learning consist of the following factors the elements of learning consist of the following 
factors. Total four factors. First one is learner. First one is learner. Second one is the teacher. Third one is learning environment. Fourth one is learning content. First one is learner. Second one is teacher. Third one is learning environment. Fourth one is learning content. First one is learner. Learner is an embodied spirit. Learner is an embodied spirit. He is the union of he is the union of sentient body and a rational soul. He is the union of sentient body and a rational soul. His body experiences sensation and feels pleasure and pain. His body experiences sensation and feels pleasure and pain. The learner is the key participant in the learning process. The learner is the key participant in the learning process. Second one is teacher. The teacher serves as the prime mover of the educational wheel. The teacher serves as the prime mover of the educational wheel. Teacher is a person with the mastery knowledge of the subject matter. He is a matured person who pures knowledge to an immature individual. Third one is learning environment. Third one is learning environment. This denotes the physical condition of the learning place. This denotes the physical condition of the learning place. The learning environment should be conducive for the learners. The learning environment should be conducive for the learner. Proper infrastructural facilities should be provided for the learners. The lighting and seating arrangement should be proper. Creating a proper teaching, learning environment is in the hands of the teacher. The teacher should use various teaching aids. The teacher should use various teaching aids, methodologies, techniques, strategies to keep the learning environment present. Fourth one is learning content. Fourth one is learning content. It deals with the subject matter to be taught. Fourth one is learning content. It deals with the subject matter to be taught. The subject matter should be simple to complex. The subject matter should be simple to complex. The subject matter should be arranged in sequential order. Known to unknown, definite to indefinite and concrete to abstract. The subject matter should be divided into various subunits so that the students can learn easily. Fourth one, learning content. It deals with the subject matter to be taught. The subject matter should be simple to complex. Next one is, next topic is basic principles of learning and their implication. Basic principles of learning and their implications. First one, principles of readiness. Princip principles of readiness. Readiness implies a degree of willingness and eagerness of an individual to learn something new. Individuals learn best when they are physically, mentally and emotionally ready to learn and they do not learn well if they see no reason for learning. Since learning is an active process, the learners must have edu educate rest, health and physical comfort while learning. Second one is principles of exercise. The principles of exercise states that those things that are most often repeated are the ones that are the best remembered. Students will learn best and retain information longer when they have meaningful practical and repetition. It is clear that practice leads to improvement only when, when I am followed by positive feedback. Third one is 